Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Dr. Austin Nation, and I am a black man. And I could be the next George Floyd. What had he done that required that much use of excessive force? He was on the ground, face down, handcuffed with three officers on him. Couldn't he have simply been placed in the back of the police car? And perhaps he'd still be alive today. How did they not know that he was no longer alive in that moment? They had to feel the spirit of that man leave this body. How could not one of them do something, anything to stop this inhumane treatment of another human being? Where's the accountability to protect and, and, protect and serve all citizens, including the black citizens of the United States? Senseless police killings of black men and women have gone on for far too long. It's almost become a sport. And they seem to get away with it. No convictions to date. That is perhaps until now. 2020 may be our year. Joyce Floyd's death could be a catalyst for a new kind of action. Eight minutes and 46 seconds on his neck. Eight minutes and 46 seconds with a knee on his neck. Please, police officers, get off my neck. I can't breathe and you're killing me. Now, people have complained about the rioting and the looting that has gone on over the fact that they didn't immediately arrest all four officers and charge them with murder and being accomplices. Why didn't they? We all saw it. Thank God for the video. And what I saw personally was I saw an evil, a nonchalance by a cop who seemed totally unaffected by the fact that he was being recorded. And this time, I believe that because of the COVID pandemic, we were all at home, not doing our normal busy lives. And so there was a worldwide captive audience for this particular atrocity. And we got hella angry and outraged. People willing to risk their own safety to come out of sheltering in place saying enough is enough. It wasn't just black people coming out this time around. Okay. But people of all races and ethnicities and ages and gender yeah. and sexual orientations. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm almost 60, so I'm seeing a lot more young people. And I, my heart is singing and rejoicing. I've seen so many of y'all come out for this riot. It's not, it's not a whites riot. It's not a black thing in South Central LA. It's a worldwide thing. I don't know why we can't do this all the time. Right. Now I'm not saying the rioting and looting, the rioting and looting was the best solutions, but I understand that that was what people felt that they needed to do. What I didn't understand was why some people were more concerned about all that material stuff. versus the unnecessary loss of a young black man's life. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. I'm reminded that the KKK used to burn down black houses and churches all the time. All the time, all the time. All the time. Never got prosecuted neither. If all of those officers don't get convicted, and to be honest, I'm not confident they will, I believe we will see people even more angry and outraged. The justice system in America is certainly not known for distributing the same time for the same crime. Racism is the line of will in America. We all know we live in a racist country, and I believe that over the past, past four years, this particular administration has only gotten worse. We have a leader who has made it okay to share his hatred, discrimination, and intolerance. 
We're no longer concerned about being sensitive, politically correct, and polite with one another. This has to stop. We're here today because we say black, black lives matter. Not saying only black lives matter, we know that all lives matter. However, right now, right now, we really need your help and we appreciate you standing with us since we know black lives are in danger. Yeah. My people are dying. My people are dying. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Eight minutes and 46 seconds. Too long. That's long, bro. That's long. That's long. As I close my remarks, I think about the Declaration of Independence, right? It says that all men are created equal. All men. And it talks about all of us having these unalienable rights for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Happiness. I'm also reminded that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that his children would be able to live in a world where people were not judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. He had such a marvelous vision of a better time for black people in the United States. Yeah. Yeah. We still have a long way to go. Long way. And there's much work to be done. How can the color of a person's skin make someone hate someone to such a degree anyway? I was made aware at a very young age that I was different, not as good as. Was not able to go and be in certain places at night after dark by myself. I learned to be extra vigilant. Even doing this, some black people will still meet with misfortune, even in their own homes. This has to stop. Police brutality must end. Yeah. Yeah. I believe the timing is right. The moment is right to take action, to do something now. They say justice will not be served until those that are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. Don't just watch and witness. Continue to do something, anything. Step up, get involved, vote, protest. Keep protesting and protest some more. And most importantly, continue to record these types of incidents that, 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 that are out there when you're seeing them so that we can all see them, so that the world can see them, so we can bring this to an end. Because again, police brutality needs to stop. Keep your cameras on, you guys. Eight minutes.